John Stratt, Global Head of Technical Strategy. It's good to see you. On the market itself first, uh, what do the charts tell you? We're going, where, are we, where are we going from here? Well, Scott, my thinking is that we can still trend higher into the middle part of next week. And then there is a good likelihood that we stall out and begin uh, a correction. And so the back half of September, I do expect to be down. Uh, markets likely bottom out in the month of October and should trend higher uh, through the seasonally bullish 4Q period. How far down do you think we go? The, the minored down, the Scott minored down of 20 percent by mid-October? I think it's very here, difficult. Or, or, or what? It's really, really difficult to put 20 percent on a pullback. My thinking is we will likely undercut this week's lows, but we should not get down under June lows for the year. Uh, you have to remember that sentiment right now is really as bearish as we've seen since June. And we still have a lot of investment managers that are have been caught completely off sides. And everybody's talking the same playbook that earnings revisions have to come down and people are on the sidelines. And so, um, you know, yes, there is some opportunity in some defensive sectors. But my thinking is it's going to be very difficult to uh, pull back to new lows right away. Well, why are we going to go down next week to, towards the end of the week? What, what's the catalyst there? Well, I don't know if it's a fundamental catalyst. Uh, my thinking is, you know, the CPI might come out better than expected. That could provide a little bit of a boost. And there's a blackout period, so the Fed really can't discuss that until the meeting. Uh, I'm looking at cycles. And, you know, the middle part of the month has been very important over the last five out of the six months. Markets peaked in mid-August. They bottomed in mid-July. They bottomed in mid-June. Uh, they bottomed also in mid, you know, March and May. So there's been an incredible amount of timing towards the middle part of the month. And, you know, some of the composites that I use actually trend lower starting next week into early October. So while I'm bullish this week, and yes, we are in an era of, of heightened volatility, markets can go up sharply for now. And my thinking is they can drop. But my thinking is it's probably going to be 10 percent. And it's very difficult to put a real number on the extent of what the pullback should be. But that, that will ultimately end up as being a buying opportunity in October. Uh, midterm election years, that tends to be the best uh, part of the year with inflation starting to come down as tom lee and others have commented on uh you know gas prices have fallen 30 percent in three months that's not being reflected in cpi data so we are going to see gas prices falling down which actually might create a more contentious midterm election and this wall of worry likely should fuel market gains between october and the end of the year you talk about tech a lot um, what's the importance if any of financials and healthcare outperforming at tech's expense that, that can't be viewed as a positive sign. I wouldn't think so, or, or, or is it? Tech is performing very well today. My only point there is that these sectors have been able to come together to really buoy the market at a time when tech has been underperforming. So it's a positive to see, you know, financials and healthcare, that's 25% of the broader market, and those are up over 3.5% this week. So when you see a broad-based rally in industrials, discretionary, healthcare, tech, uh, you know, financials, uh, great, great groups. And on any downdraft, my thinking is, you know, these groups can come together and probably cushion the market to not decline as violently as what, you know, everybody is expecting. Well, what about, and lastly, the idea that you put forward, I don't know, seven, 10 days ago that Apple held the key for the whole market at, at those levels. Um, it hasn't really done all that much. I mean, it's 157. So it's a couple dollars ahead of when you put that, that thought out is how do I square that today? Apple remains incredibly resilient compared to most of technology. It's still quite attractive technically, and it's one that I definitely would want to own uh, on any weakness into October. So, you know, Apple and most of tech hardware have acted much better than the entire semiconductor sector as well as software. Uh, tech hardware is where you want to position, and my belief is that Apple along with Microsoft will be ones to definitely buy on any weakness uh, over the next four or five weeks. We'll talk to you soon. Enjoy the weekend. That's Mark Newton of FunStrat. Scott, likewise. You too.